Welcome to my Secret Place Devotion with Oyeks Alfred. The Word of God is alive and equipped to change your life. Good morning. Today the Lord will keep you from every harm in the name of Jesus. The Lord will watch over your life in the name of Jesus. Because that is his word concerning you. Verse 7. And so shall it be continually in the name of Jesus. Amen. Imagine what will happen if your best friend becomes elected as the president of a nation or your best friend becomes the head of a really large corporation. You know, the natural tendency is to be very excited, is to be happy, is to tell everybody you know that your best friend just became the president or became the leader of a large corporation. Why? Are you doing all of that? It's because you already know that there are certain privileges you are going to have simply because your friend is the president or your friend has access to something, you know, that's really massive. You will celebrate not because you like your friend, but because you know the things that you're going to gain by virtue of your friend's position. You know, what most people fail to understand is that the greatest privilege on earth is not to know the president of a nation. The greatest privilege on earth is not to know the head of a large corporation. You should rejoice not because your friend became the head of something big, but the greatest privilege or why you should rejoice is that you know God Almighty and that you have deep intimacy with him and that you know his ways. If you are a child of God and you know God deeply, intimately and really personally, that is when you consider yourself extremely privileged but most christians don't realize this so what happens is that people who have friends in high places they're excited they celebrate they are you know they are really overjoyed but christians are not overjoyed they don't celebrate and recognize the fact that they actually have a direct relationship with the greatest person on earth let's look at what the bible tells us in psalm 146 verse 3 to 6 he says don't put your confidence in powerful people there is no help for you there he said when they breathe their last they return to the earth and all their plans will die with them he said but joyful are those who have the god of israel as their helper whose hope is in the lord their god he made the heaven and the earth and the sea and everything in it and he keeps his promise forever a king or a president or somebody may promise you something he has planned it but the bible said that when he dies he takes all of the plans with him and even if the person doesn't die he can always change his mind some situations that are beyond his control can begin to function and he can no longer offer that help that he planned or promised to help you with but the bible says that we who are god's children are meant to be joyful and excited because our helper is not a man and again our helper is one that keeps his promise forever. Thirdly, a helper is one that is so powerful and so rich and so magnanimous that he made the heaven, he made the sea, he made the earth, he made everything in the sea. This calls for celebration. It is what you inherited. You inherited the help of God because you are a child of God. However, if you do not know the Lord personally, if you have never come to the point where you accepted Jesus, then you did not inherit God as as your helper. You know, the Bible tells us in Jeremiah chapter 9, verse 23, something very interesting. He says, this is what the Lord says. Don't let the wise boast in their wisdom or the powerful boast in their power or the rich boast in their riches. But those who wish to boast should boast in this alone, that they truly know me and understand that I am the Lord who demonstrates unfailing love, who brings justice and righteousness to the earth and that I delight in these things. I, the Lord, have spoken. Now, what is God trying to communicate to us here? He's saying, if all you are have is wisdom you can't boast if all you have is wealth you can't boast if all you have is physical power you can't boast do you know why because somebody can you know walk against you and you find out that even though you have wealth in the physical you will be disadvantaged 
Now, let me give you an example. Do you know a man who functions with the powers of darkness? If you put him on one side and you put somebody who is really educated, has a lot of money on the other side, do you know that that man who walks with the powers of darkness, who is not educated, who doesn't have as much money as the other man, can control, the one with walking from the kingdom of darkness, can control the life of the one who has all the money and all the education? Do you know why? Because life is controlled from the realm of the spirit. So that man that is working with the powers of darkness can, you know, hinder you, activate demonic powers, and they begin to work against you. And your money will turn against you. The knowledge you have will turn against you. Everybody you know will turn against you. And there's nothing you can do about it unless you have a relationship with the Lord. That's what the Bible is saying. That if all you have is wealth, you can't boast. If all you have is physical knowledge, you can't boast. If all you have is just wealth, physical wealth, you can't boast because all those things are temporal. They can be taken away from you by a man who knows how to function in the realm of the spirit. Whether it is God's spiritual side or Satan's spiritual part, a man who understands the realm of the spirit, a man who understands spiritual things can make you who all you have, you know, are physical things and all of that. He can make you disadvantaged advantage in life. That is why God said, if what you have is just money, you really can't boast. If all you have is knowledge in the physical, you really can't boast. You can only make a boast in the things you have if you know God, if you know that your dependence is on God, if you know that your strength is on God, if you understand the ways of God, and if you understand the ways of walking with God from the realm of the spirit, God said, that is the only time you can actually make a boast. That's the only time you can say, okay, yes, I know God and I know that the source of everything I have is God and the sustenance of everything that I have is God. Because any other thing outside that, you are completely disadvantaged. It doesn't matter how much money you have. It doesn't matter who you know. If you don't know God, you are disadvantaged in life. If you don't know God and his ways and how to interact in the realm of the spirit. So if you are a child of God, if you have a genuine walk with God, it is the greatest privilege on earth because you are placed higher than everyone else. Why? Because the Bible tells us that you are seated with Christ in the heavenly place places that is where your position is in the spirit see what the scripture says in ephesians 2 6 it said for he raised us from the dead along with christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realms because we are united with Christ. Wow, this is such a great privilege. What it means is that we inherited a highly exalted position in the spirit if we are God's children. It is a privilege to be a child of God. You inherited a high sitting. You know, it takes a lot to have a sitting at the United Nations. But guess what? If you are a child of God, you have a higher sitting than the man in the United Nations. That's what the Bible says, because the control point of life is not found in the physical. The control point of life is found in the spiritual. And what God did for us is that he exalted us and placed us, spiritually speaking, where Christ is. Meaning that every demonic activity and all of that, everything that works against us is placed under our feet not because of us but because of our union with christ it is part of the inheritance of the saints it is part of the inheritance of god's children what is that inheritance the inheritance is that they are spiritually seated far above principalities powers rules demonic powers and any man that is alive that is trying to put you in a place of disadvantage you are exalted so you can always talk to god and the lord will change situations on your behalf in the name of jesus and that is the reason why god wants us to rejoice and to boast in psalm 146 verse 5 he said but joyful are those who have the god of israel as their helper whose hope is in the lord their god where is your hope is it in the lord your God or is it in the arm of the flesh in your money or whatever it is that you have if your strength and your hope is in God then you can rejoice because you'll be a beneficiary of the inheritance of the saints called our sitting in the heavenly places thank you for listening God bless you have a great weekend for other life changing messages you can now download the app Rev Oyik Speaks from Play Store for Android phone users or Apple Store for iOS users you can also follow us on Instagram YouTube and Telegram, all on the handle Oyex Alfred.
Come